Welcome to the fourth video in our Designing a Winning Resume video series with Engineering Career Services. Here we'll cover everything you need to know about the experience section. Here's an overview of what to include in the experience section of your resume. Experience should include examples of both technical and soft skills. Again, don't list soft skills, but try to show them through the bullet points you develop. The experience section can be divided into sections grouped by competencies, skills, type of work, for example, technical projects or internships. These sections can be categorized as paid or unpaid internships, jobs, technical or not, or projects through class or independent or via involvement in student groups. We mentioned this before, but wanna remind you that project sections are a good way to show specific courses without including a relevant coursework section. Remember to always list these in reverse chronological order. Choosing the right verbs to start your bullets with is important. Use action words to start your bullet points to describe your experiences, avoid being vague, Avoid words such as worked, assisted with, helped, and responsible for. The first word is key and enables the reader to go through the resume quickly. Avoid overusing the same verb. Make sure each bullet starts with a different word. On the next slide, we have some suggestions. On page six of our resume writing handout linked below, we provide a list of verbs divided into useful categories. As engineering majors, we advise you to choose from words under the sections, research technical, efficiency, create, supervise, and achieve. Often when we question students on bullet points with more passive starting verbs, such as assist, we find that they did more than they're letting on in their resume. So see if you can rephrase your bullets to be results oriented. When writing bullet points, consider the impact of your work and make explicit what you want the employer to know about you. For example, your technical, interpersonal, or teamwork skills, or your accomplishments, or your ability to work under tight constraints. Quantify your bullet points when possible. Remember, metrics and numbers are not only quick and easy for employers to notice, but they are also quantifiers for the scope of work you can accomplish. Be brief, eliminate small words and pronouns, and use keywords to optimize your resume for the application tracking system. So how do you develop your bullet points? Let's start with the examples learned about embedded systems and responsible for writing a report. We want to make these stronger by considering who, how, or why, for example. Answering who keeps you from selling yourself short and what you actually did, or leaving out pertinent soft skills, such as leadership or teamwork. Answering how lets you show that you improved what you did in a particular role or how you contributed in a valuable way. Answering why allows you to illustrate what you learned because even if you weren't successful in a certain project, for example, your OTV didn't work, it still shaped who you are as a person and engineer today. It shaped your work ethic, organizational skills, and hard skills, and you likely learned a lot of new things. It also likely shaped your teamwork skills or helped you improve time management, and there were many constraints that made the project more difficult. The point is, it's still important, and why it is important should be explained. So let's take a look at what these bullets can look like with a little more thought. Instead of learned about embedded systems, we now have researched the latest developments in embedded systems for a large multinational client using technical journals and interviews with professional engineers. Instead of responsible for writing a report, we now have completed a 20-page report on embedded systems one week ahead of schedule. These examples show how paying more attention to the minutia can give you more credibility. This information covers the most important content in your resume. However, there are other sections that you can consider including. See our next video for additional sections you can include.